Only on News 5 at 430, we're taking you on the road for our latest adventure with Alan Rose. And this week, you're heading out on another trail. Allison, another great hiking adventure this week. Although it's cold and blustery today, thanks to a recent stretch of nice weather, we sent our sights on the Spruce Mountain open space for a five-mile hike with plenty of challenges along the way. Check it out. Miles from Palmer Lake is a network of hiking trails that spans eight and a half miles. The Spruce Mountain open space is large, covering nearly 1,400 acres in southern Douglas County. We start our adventure on the Spruce Mountain Loop. Moderate in difficulty, the trail begins by crossing a wide open meadow with gorgeous views of Eagle Mountain just ahead. Still some mud and snow on the trail, but otherwise, beautiful day for a hike. From the meadow to the mountain, it's time to start climbing. Spruce Mountain ahead of us is heavily forested with more shade than sun. This time of the year, north facing slopes along the side of the mountain present a new challenge. They receive much less direct sunlight than warmer south facing areas. Slippery snow, ice and mud makes this climb harder than it should be. It's not long before we reach the top with gorgeous views in nearly every direction. Dry grasses and rolling hills as far as the eye can see. And if you look closely enough, that's I-25 off in the distance. From wide open spaces to Eagle Mountain to incredible views of Pikes Peak, we soak it all in. Everyone here is super friendly and we make new friends along the way. Hi. Including this adorable puppy. Instead of finishing the upper loop, we take the service road down to the valley to avoid the challenging section that we just hiked through. From the bottom of the service road, we connect with Eagle Pass Trail and work our way back to the trailhead. And Allison, the idea for this amazing hike at Spruce Mountain came from a News 5 viewer, and now we want to hear from you. So send me an email with your suggestion to alan.rose at kowa. Right. We know people have so many great ideas, too. And, uh, you know, as much as people, I think, want to keep some of these places protected, don't do it. Tell don't us about it. Send yeah, them my way. Know. You know, I think so far, every time I've done a hiking story, I get around two or three emails. So, yeah, send them in. Send them to my inbox. We'll try to get to them because beautiful weather, as we know, just around the corner. Exactly. And, I mean, as we saw in your story there, yeah, there's some parts of the trail where they might, might be a little icy, a little snowy. But um, as long as you're being mindful and not making sure that those trails are being stretched out. It's also an important thing. Um, I think you're good to go. That's a good point. They always urge you to stay on the trails and wear the proper shoes. We didn't need spikes on that hike, but definitely the hiking shoes with the proper tread. They're going to help you out quite a bit. Exactly.